Good old Lee. Good old Lee. <clears throat> Doesn't like me very much, I can tell. I can tell. Something about that cold stare. Right into my soul. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, what did you say? You know what to say about reckoning. Does it really matter? <clears throat> Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Can I look around? It's about now I get the I didn't do it. Not from me. Not from me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. Oh, I can move around. Woo! Wow, that is a bright... Is that how big the sun is? In this universe? I'm a little bit concerned about that. I don't know what you said on the radio. I hope it wasn't important. Give him the stare. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. <clears throat> so you've got an opinion? You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you kill. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Um, that's a lot of police cars. Sure. Ah. Uh. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Hey. Oh, she married the wrong guy. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Oh my god, there's a lot of police. Did we already try? I'm pretty sure we already drove past that truck. This man once, he, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I'll tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. Mamma mia. Me. Uh, was he innocent? Oh, wait, maybe he was innocent. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Ooh, he maybe, maybe not then. Bloody murder that it wasn't him. Maybe not then. He actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more uh, if I do say so. Watch out! This other time... So that ended poorly. Oh no, it's the walkers. Well, that didn't end good. And I'm still in the back of the police car. So I'm in a I'm in a way worse spot. Thirsty. Mm, come on, Lee. Fuck. My leg. 
Oh gosh. Let's break it. I'm breaking out. Breaking out. Making the jailbreak. I need to drag myself out that window. Okay. Let's uh let's go slow. Good stuff, lad. Oh my god, that was quite a tumble. He's just dead. Oh my god. What's happened then, lad? Oh, we should probably grab the shotgun. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay, well, maybe it's not very useful then if it's empty. Oh, well, there is a shotgun shell, though. Officer? Officer? Does he have the keys? Oh, yes, sir. We're breaking out. Oh, no. Why did you have to drop it next to him? Weird that he was Igor, even though he doesn't know about the walkers yet. What's up, boy? What's up, D's big nut book? <laughs> okay. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, the shotgun shell. It, it, it is alive. It is a live round. Oh, baby. In we go, in we go. Come on. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Shoot him. That was the plan. That was the plan. Where are we aiming? All things considered, I would say that went pretty well. I would say that went really well. Yeah. I mean, we did just shoot him in the face. Oh, there's a girl. Help! Go get someone. There's been a shooting. And we know who it is. We know who. Well, I know who it is. I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. Are we gonna? Are we gonna get up, Lee? Hello. We probably should start moving very quickly. Keep making videos, you're making good. <laughs> Thanks, man. Why is the music so loud? Okay, the music got really loud for some reason. Even though I've turned the volume down. It's a good job I did it through actual Streamlabs because I think that would have um, been a bit of an issue otherwise. Bro almost got cooked. <laughs> Bro's not having a good day, I'm telling you. He got arrested, was going to go to jail, now he's in this situation. It's not having a good day at all. Hello? Anybody? We probably shouldn't be shouting out after we've just seen like a bunch of them coming towards us, but... You know, you do you, Lee. You, you, you do you. We are going to raid this house, however. In we go. Hello. Anybody 
home. I need a little help. I'm probably terrifying whoever's here. Coming Where in. the door? Don't shoot, okay? <laughs> um, I'm sure we'll. I'm sure we'll see you soon. Hello. Hello, hello. Or one of them. These people might need more. Well, this looks like a cozy abode. Lovely little house tour. We got the we got the uh we got the blood marks. Jesus. Let's not slip on it. <laughs> Or oh, radio. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. <sighs> that blood like banana peels. It's like a... It's like a... What do you call it? Mario Kart banana peels. Answering machine. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Not good. Parents, parents are cooked. Parents are cooked. Not great at all. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Just realized something. I don't have subtitles on. Uh, so let me turn subtitles on real quick. We might be a little cooked here. <laughs> Who, is this? Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. Uh, no, not in particular. I'm not. She's in the treehouse, isn't she? She's in the treehouse. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. 37 years of age. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my tree house. They Called it. In. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. We're in this situation. Time to go. Oh, the bloody banana peel blood. Kick to the face, sir. Uh. That's what you get, sir. Uh. Chill. Clementine coming in clutch. Clementine. Don't just stand there. Damn, we cold. Damn. We cold. Nice. Blood is a liquid liquids. A slippery. Man. <laughs> Hi there. We're no longer the ones that are cooked, chat. Did you kill it? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We're we're uh, we're absolutely that person. We're absolutely that absolutely that person. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> It'll be a bit awkward if she wasn't. Just oh, killed somebody in cold blood. <laughs> yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. Parents are dead. Oh no. Until then. What should we do now? Hmm. 
Probably, uh, probably, probably look for help. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Don't mind at night. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine, but you you had to you had to just like bust out into the Minecraft parody, huh? All right, and we're off. We're off. We're off to see the wondrous world. Wondrous world above us and around us. It's going to be beautiful. Look at it. Yellow skies, the end of the world. Apocalypse and all. Oh, two guys. Say, told you, chat. We should have gone looking for help. Dangerous world out there. What if Clementine gets shadow banned? Oh my god. <laughs> She's gonna get shadow banned for saying a bad bad word. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? Should I stay or I should I go? In the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Sophie tells me they're not coming back. They won't let us go. Oh wait, no, that's not what I was. Somewhere safe, close, okay? That's not what I was planning on saying. I was planning on saying they're not coming back, Chief. Parents are cooked. Sorry to tell you, Clementine. Holy hey, shit! Don't eat us. We're not gonna. How did they not hear us talking a second ago? I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Hmm. We need help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here because you should be. Those you never played The Walking Dead. I have. I have. I seen anything as I'm as just trying to. I'm just trying not to spoil everything for like first time watchers. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. She's not my daughter. I'm not a dad. I'm just some guy. Some guy. Some guy? Just some guy. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. Go. Well, looks like we don't have much of a choice, chat. We're leaving regardless. Bro, what is this copyright free music? It's like sneaky snitch. Oh, <laughs> she's trying to help. <laughs> For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Hell yeah, baby. For some guy, I did pretty good. I did pretty good. <laughs> Shot a guy in the face with a shotgun. Used a hammer to beat up somebody. Overall, I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Nah, bro, almost got cooked. Yeah, for real. Lee nearly died. That would have been quite unfortunate. Game just ends our roll credits. Everyone dies. <laughs> no more story. But we're at a nice little farm instead. Hey Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as Don't tell me this is the house. <laughs> it's a nice house. It back without yet. It's got its charms. With you then. You've brought a couple guests. Hmm. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's well, 
Just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. He's gonna patch us up. He's gonna give us a mini to get our shields back up. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Uh, nah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Could be worse. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Um, car accident? Car accident. That's so. May as well be honest. Before the car accident. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We Pretty sure I was arrested, but... Three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um... Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't oh, think anyone knows how big. He said a swear word. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. A, a lot. I saw a man got run over. Dead people. Chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. Nah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. We'll probably just have to shoot you. Bit rude. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right then. Shoot, nah, cut it off. Hello? Hello, hello? It smells like... Manure? Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's not be around the bush. It smells like poo-poo. I swear. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. I missed my mom and dad. I'll put money in the swear jar, I promise. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I love you, baby. <laughs> Bro really said that. <laughs> I think Chai's being funky. Some of my messages aren't sending through. I can only see one's messages on screen, but not in chat itself. Oh, really? Huh. Hey, chat being funky? Up. Wow, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy <laughs> scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of the fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. The chat just said what? Well. boy, Ken Jr. They call him Duck, though. Duck. 
dodging or quacking? Or quacking. Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Uh, yeah, we'll tag along. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Let's go well, build a fence. Foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. He seems way too excited about the tractor. Here on the porch. We can visit. All right, what am I going to do? Nobody invited me to do anything. So now I'm just completely alone. I'm going to go and help out with the fence as well. Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. I'll talk to Sean. I'm still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Oh, soaring! I can do this. I can Dad do this. Know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Damn. Oh no shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh, yeah, I just, I had to shoot one. I had to shoot one. With a shotgun, it was pretty cool, Shooting, actually. Maybe, if it were far away. Oh, and I did, I did be that other walker up with a hammer. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. No, oh, man, I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Did a very good job. I did a very good job. So what else can I do? Oh, I didn't want to look at the tractor. Hey, Lee. Oh. I'm gonna go uh, check on the other. <laughs> very <laughs> awkward. He's like, hey, and I'm like, mm, I'm going to go check on the others. I'm, I'm going to go and check on the others. Let's go and talk to Kenny. I mean, there's not really a dialogue option, so maybe I'll just stare at him awkwardly. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? Need help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? No. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Uh, what's your plan? What's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. <laughs> cool story, man. That's great. So glad we spoke about the boat. How, how are you, you doing, Clementine? We'll catch you, Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. 
Uh, what do you do? So, uh, what are you doing? Corpses aren't walking around. I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. I got arrested. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Well, I, 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 uh... uh yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anything. I mean, they did the right thing. Home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. Alright, this was a great talk. I feel like me and her disagree on the fact that I'm I'm kind of thrilled about the end of the world. She doesn't seem as thrilled about it. Uh, however, I was going to prison beforehand, so, you know, probably better that it happened for me than it does for her. Anywho. <laughs> Hi. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Hmm, I got a ride. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm, well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <sighs> Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh, the parents are in Macon, oh, I guess. I don't know, it's the only option it's given me, so I guess they're in Macon. Well, Hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? 100%. I was looking for help in her house. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound suspicious at all. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't trust me. Can Understandable. Piece of advice. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. <sighs> but at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. That doesn't sound good. Go! I'll get my gun! Panic is setting in. Panic is setting in. Ah, yes, understandable. Did he drive on his... Uh... I'm sorry, but I'm not saving the child. I'm not saving the child. Run away! I feel like this isn't working. Save me. I know, son. I... 
Well, unfortunate. Unfortunate, truly. Survival of the fittest. Oh, and now he returns as if he didn't run off a minute ago. Yeah, understandable. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. Bash. Help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Well, I feel like it's somebody's fault, but we'll say it's nobody's I wasn't fault. Strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger. Or your friends are cowards. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. What you say it's Kenny? I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find what find out what I'm gonna say. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Why was that? Why was that said so like reserved? Like he, he doesn't really want to give me the ride. Brother, you let somebody die. Least you can do is give me the ride. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. We'll make it work. Rip to that guy. Unfortunate, truly. But as I said, survival of the fittest. Sacrifices have to be made. Look. Well, hey who's that? You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Ah. Fuck. Understandable. Oh my god, they, they just swarm out of everywhere, don't they? You make one little bit of noise and they just swarm. I see one little that child almost got cooked. I was about to say survival of the first again. To pee. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go. I didn't mean They've to be like kids, Lily. Hush. Outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. I don't think he was actually bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! We, what do we do about this guy? We fire him. We punch him in the face. Kick his ass. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, God, he yaps so much. One of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. 
It's a big deal. Sit down! Or that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> that's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. He's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Mm. No. no. Don't, don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> <laughs> okay. Time to move. Lee, you, you love to trip at the worst times, lad. Oh, we're clicking Q. Nice. You okay? Just great, thanks. Well, I'm glad she has the gun. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. We're in a bit of a pickle. Oh no. because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, Survival of the first. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Mm. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Alright, perfect. That would be great. be great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're going to do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. Okay, now, Carly's the rest. one that we like. You're a good shot. She is I a like good shot. That way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Hmm, do we have to though? Do we have to? I prefer just not getting the pills, to be honest with you. Where, where even am I? Okay, so we need to get into the pharmacy. Oh, energy bar.
Another energy bar. The pills are in there. Bathroom's there. So it's through this way? Did they did they not did they not try going through this way already? The music is always so good. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. That's Kane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with him. And this Kane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Wait, like you would Lee's family owned this My place? Dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. Oh, well, what are, what are the chances of that? Find anything? Uh. Awkward. I didn't answer. I didn't have a look. I didn't say a thing. I don't know about that. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Well, that's I awkward. Attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Uh, not in particular. No. Sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just yeah. keep it to myself. Uh, thanks. Don't worry about it. Oh, she's actually looking out for us. That's pretty sick. All right. Let's continue moving this desk. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? She seems so excited to help. Here we go. She's like, I get to help. Mmm. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Hmm. Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. you want to talk about your family do they like hate you probably because they're dead 
because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Most likely. I mean, I'm just assuming. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. You're in trouble with Caden again? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. This was next week's stream. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you can still stream it. Let's have a look at that finger. Now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. It hurt. Hmm. Why would why would we pull on it? It's not broken. Okay, so I just need like a like a first aid kit. What am I? What? In there, I bet. Oh, good. I got a bandaid. Let's have a look at that finger. It hurt. I'm a Let's medic see, now. Something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. You need to call and make a giant calendar on who's going to stream what because clearly you're too telepathically connected. I mean, just because I stream it doesn't mean he can't stream it. Anyone can stream anything. <laughs> Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, I don't think they're gonna come home. To be safe, we'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Hey, Carmen. Mm. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Oh, we can head out with her. Oh, we just left with her. things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen i was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room i heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying i was bitten i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a, a couple almost got me and i ended up hiding in the ice machine lucky you now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal. Nah, I say we leave her. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> but it's a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. Hmm, maybe I can uh probably the safest route. <laughs> hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. But I need the screwdriver. I'm done trying to punch out windows. <gasps> oh. We take that pillow. Like smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. No, we t we take the pillow. We take the pillow. We go smash the window open. With the pillow. It's a 200 IQ plan. What are you gonna do with that? Any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. You telling cars. me the pillow wasn't the answer? Tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. What do you mean the pillow wasn't the answer? 
Can I do anything with the pillow here? But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. <laughs> and they didn't notice a thing. All right, we've made progress. What have we got? We got a zombie there. We can go back to the truck. We can go more forward. That was awesome. Oh, they may be noticing though. Oh, we know that works out. Can I use the spark plug to break in, maybe? Okay, they must have heard that. What? Okay. Never mind, they didn't. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Now nah, I got a weapon. Okay, we kind of need to go and take care of that zombie first. That actually was really effective. I was gonna say, I was kind of aiming for the face. Worked hard though. Oh, straight through the brain. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Hmm. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. I do think this was a horrible plan, by the way. I don't think we I don't think we should have uh tried to save someone. Might just be me, but I feel like this was the wrong decision. Hello. Bro must use 230 IQ. The biggest brain plays. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. <laughs> Out. You're hurt. Oh God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. I knew we shouldn't have helped. What? I told you. I yep. said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and and you come back. And you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Mm, okay, we'll leave. What are we gonna do? I didn't say anything. I don't know why. Oh. Gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. 
I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Mm. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. Wait, we're gonna watch it? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't, do, I don't think YouTube's monetization system will be happy with that, but... <laughs> I'm here with you. You're a good man. Oh, it's fine. We were, we were saved the gory details. So that's unfortunate. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of here. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Do we have to? I don't want to. Maybe now there's some more development we're going out with Doug. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Awesome. Wait, did to distract those things carefully? I was gonna say I just I said we just take them on, to be honest with you. Oh wait, no, I can reach the brick now, can't I? Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Hmm. Oh, what a throw. Good job, Lee. That's a good right arm. Yeah, they're attracted to that one. Now's the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Jesus, dog. He ruined a perfectly good moment.
It's unfortunate. Oh! Damn, we're just gonna decapitate him? Jesus. All right, I'm glad we had this conversation. I'm going to be taking those keys now. Thank you very much. Holy crap! Run! We're getting shadow banned with this one. Probably. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm with her. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. A fade to white, okay. That's a lot of them. Doc, come on, there'll be time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee! If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Oh, thanks! Thanks, Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know! Can we stop talking about should what we should know? Huh? I should know yeah. oh, Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. Oh, it's just us now keeping the door closed. Okay. I'm doing a very good job. Oh, dog's dead. Wait, no, Carly is. Oh, I'm gonna have to decide, Arta. Who am I gonna save? Carly. Sorry, Doug. But I think Carly's more valuable. Oh my god. Let's go! Survival of the first. Clementine! They... Oh, 
son of a bitch! No! Oh. Bit rude. Hey, Kenny, my ma my main main man. My main main man. Okay, so we're gonna go and kill uh, Larry, right? Well, more people are dying. That's unfortunate. Oh, we can go and talk to people. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. No, Glenn! I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Hmm. You gotta do what you gotta do. Go find your friends, man. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Let the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Ah, uh, Glenn's leaving us. <laughs> Goodbye, Glenn. You've been a real trooper. I mean, he, he didn't really do much for the cause, but... Kenny, my main, main man. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah. We do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks. <sighs> you got it. See, this is why we like Kenny. He knows exactly what the right thing to say is. I awkwardly walked towards her. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. That's sweet, but he's, he's dead now. You'll be alright. Definitely. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Because you're the most reliable. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. I mean, realistically, Carly, you've done way more for us. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, Doug didn't really provide much. Oh, 
I'll rem I'll remember the fact that you punched me in the face. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, do I have to go and talk to him? Another thing. What do you want? Like my daughter? What? Not really. Good. Stay away from her. For everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. Okay, Larry's first on the chopping block. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? He's dying first. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Oh, it's not good, though. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, figures. I had a feeling it probably wouldn't be okay. <laughs> 